How are we feeling? Gravy. 150 pounds of gear. About a buck fifty. Love to trim it down if I can, but going out there for a month. Some wise people told us yesterday, if you're below 125, you're probably forgetting something. And if you're above it, you're kind of blowing it. <laughs> no, 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 stop. It's <laughs> <laughs> total weight. Uh, I'm not ready to disclose that type of information. I'm getting ready for, go back into winter. Feels like summer down here. Who brought the surfboard? Must have been that guy from Hawaii. Here I am looking like an absolute donkey. I am walking around this mountain in snowboard boots without an ounce of snow in sight. I've been really infatuated with snowboarding and the mountains and I've been really wanting to learn a lot more about mountaineering and backcountry snowboarding. To be a part of this trip was a really good opportunity, I felt, to just get a new perspective. I feel like there's no faster way to learn those types of things than to do a full immersion. Just learning at a really rapid pace and trying to adapt as best as I could to every different situation. and the rangers going through the list of everyone's names and he stops on my name and it's just like oh and there's one guy with clearly no experience and from Hawaii yeah okay that was just like wow am I kind of in over my head here we're on our final approach to the 14,000 foot camp which is where our home base will be for the next couple weeks you can see the mountain Behind me is just incredible. Settling in, our new home for the next month. I got it, epic. Psyched to be here and uh, feeling good for Denali. The mountain's intimidating. It felt like being parked in a boat staring at like Jaws and Mavericks and Nazare all right in front of you. You're just staring at all of this energy. Knowing a mountain of this magnitude, anything could happen. You could get shut down for weeks on end in the tent or you could rock up in perfect conditions. First tour out of our new home here at 14 Camp. We want this to feel like sea level to us because moving up 6,000 feet, dropping in on any of these lines, we want to be feeling 100% and not be struggling up there. I was definitely nervous about going that high up. I had no idea how my body was going to adapt or react to that type of elevation. This is my highest elevation yet. PR's all day for you walk. Feeling it. Head starting to feel fuzzy. And... It's a big one. This is a big one. Walk the plank. A lot of firm on that upper section. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna take this first part slow. Copy. Have fun. I was really happy once my body started to adapt really quickly and settle into that elevation. It's like your body just accepts, like, okay, I guess this is a new normal. I better get used to this. 
Oh, that was so fun. multiple times, energy is high, and Ian has been crushing it, that's to no surprise, you know, the entire time he's right next to us. We've been blessed with some great weather, great conditions so far, and it's unreal, man. It's a beautiful day, probably should give it a try, right? Going for the top. Starting to get some sun, it's been a freezing cold morning. I'm gonna climb up the rescue gully, take a more direct route. We're at 17,000 feet. Weather kind of soft in on us. In a holding pattern but we're just getting colder and colder by the minute, and I don't want to be dropping in in a full whiteout. I don't think there's ever a right answer in these situations, but kind of leaning towards headed down. Riding conservatively is crucial out here. You're not opening it up, but going fast and making these big arcing turns down these faces. It's survival snowboarding, if you will. From top to bottom, everything is a no-fall zone. Whew. I see. There's a lot of consequence. Definitely got butterflies going, and it's really similar to some of the feelings you get on really big days in surf. fire drill attempt yesterday I ended up riding the rescue gully down so it's kind of rad to check that one off the list tomorrow we're gonna make another attempt at going to go into the top of this thing yeah we'll see what happens everybody's ready as they'll ever be I guess it's 9 45 a.m. I don't know what this round trip I'm guessing will take about 12 hours Hopefully the weather cooperates and all our bodies cooperate. <laughs> Pretty much just got to 17. The winds are increasing. The higher we get. I like these puffs of wind. I grew up in the wind on Maui, so it feels like home. There were a bunch of people turning around that left way earlier in the day that said it was too windy and the conditions were too sketchy basically to summit that day. And it was almost like the mountain just let us in. It just laid down the weather and gave us a really small window. And when we got up there, it was like calm and almost really nice, which was pretty fortunate. Made it. Made it. 
know how. What time is it? Damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off. So basically exactly 12 hours. It is just incredible to be up here. The tallest point in North America. I've never been emotional on top of a mountain before. Until now, dude. If it worked, we're really stoked. Good push. I just gotta do the rest of it safe now. Summit. Yeah. Flying off Thunderbird that to my knowledge has never been snowboarded before. told me that we would have ticked off almost every line on Denali before we came on this trip, I would have laughed and said, no way. Got pretty fortunate and rode basically everything we wanted to. I'll remember this session forever, man. Wow. Got to lug these things all the way up the mountain and now we get to bring them down. You're like a sled dog driver or something, man. Like you're just like It's been 18 days on the mountain up there. What an experience this was. It really is a collaborative team effort and I think that lends to connecting with the people 
you're with on those trips so much more than any other situation. I mean, like, this is what snowboarding is about for me. Going out with your buddies and like, we ripped the shit out of this thing, dude. Definitely a trip that'll leave a big bookmark in my memory bank for the rest of my life.